Yo, what is going on everybody? I am your host Slack is Gaming bringing you the next matchup of the Fighter Pass tournament. And uh, I, I, I'm going to say this again. I did say this in my uh, couple uploads uh, earlier today. But um, uh, the reason why I didn't upload the past, what, like two days or so, was because I had food poisoning and it was absolutely dreadful but uh, i'm starting to feel better so trying to get caught up on all these matches for both the tournaments so yeah i'm trying to get back up to speed and uh yeah so i think there'll be another matchup later uh what for for sunday this one's coming out like saturday night but there'll be one for sunday as well then i should be all caught up with the fighter pass tournament and then uh we should be able to continue on as normal but uh yeah, that's just a quick little, uh, I guess, heads up on where the tournaments are at. But uh, let's uh, just go over the rules real quick. If you are new, uh, yeah, if you want to vote, it's pretty simple. It, this is a tournament to decide, you know, characters that we would like to see for DLC in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for the Fighter Pass. And the way to vote is down in the comments by simply typing the name of one of two characters. And you can see both those characters' names in the title of the video. Or you could see them in the thumbnail, but chances are you could just see them in the title of the video right now. So, um, today's matchup is actually going to be Game 11, which is Dante from Devil May Cry series taking on Sora from the Kingdom Hearts series. And I'll jump into that matchup in just a second. But uh, the rules are one vote per person. You are allowed to vote for both characters if you would like to. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you got to vote down in the comments and then simply type either Dante or Sora, or both. You know, those are your options. And then uh, the voting goes up, uh, on for one week, and then uh, we figure out the winner and loser, and then we move them on according to, well, the number of votes that they got. So more votes equals you win, and you move on in the tournament. But if you lose, you drop down to the loser bracket. So that's how it goes. It's a double elimination tournament. And, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much all the rules, except if there's a tie in the voting I will flip a coin. You guys will see that, and then we will see who uh, that will see. That's how the tie will get <laughs> broke for the votes. But let's hope it doesn't come to that. So uh, we got to go over the results from last week, which was I think what game four I want to say, which was Leon Kennedy from the Resident Evil series taking on Geo Light from the Medio series. Uh, it's a series that. Uh, not a lot of people really heard of, especially from reading the comments. So, a um, few people are like, ah, this is a wild card for Leon. He's got that one easily, you know, not really competition. It really wasn't. It wasn't a huge blow up by any means, but Leon ended up winning 31 votes to 10 votes. So, Leon gets to move on to the next round of the winner's bracket. So, congrats to him. Geolite just falls to the loser bracket down here where. He'll end up taking on the loser of game six, which we should get that, like I said, later on Sunday at some point. So, um, yeah, so with that out of the way, we got to go over today's matchup, which is, like I already said and mentioned earlier, Dante from Devil May Cry taking on Sora. So let's do this, right? So first up, Dante. Now, Dante, he's like, uh, I don't, I don't, okay. I'm going to go over, like, my personal opinion about Dante real quick. Um, I, I recognize and understand the series is, uh, you know, it's a big series. I, I understand that. And if I remember correctly, didn't Devil May Cry actually start off, at, like, the wasn't the first Devil May Cry originally supposed to be how Resident Evil was? I'm going to have to look this up, but I'm almost positive. I think the first Devil May Cry was supposed to be what Resident, one of the Resident Evil games was supposed to be, but it was just kind of getting taken in a slightly different direction, so they just made an entirely different game and franchise out of it, and you know, for gaming fans, it worked out pretty well. Resident Evil got to continue going on, doing what it was doing, and we also got the birth of this uh, Devil May Cry series, and Dante... Uh, came along with the game, being one of the main characters, and you know a lot of popularity with him. Uh, he's just, he's got like kind of like the sort of uh, you know a little cocky arrogance to him, and a lot of fans kind of get drawn to him for uh, just I guess his his overall attitude and kind of demeanor. You know his whole his whole vibe about the character is pretty awesome. And you know personally, I've played a little bit of Devil May Cry. You know, here and there, I've seen a buddy play it, and while it looks, 
you know, it looks all right. It's not something that personally caught my attention, honestly, and I, I've never been a huge fan. Uh, I'll say that it, it just it didn't seem like something that would interest me that much. I wasn't, you know, the the game series itself and the character they they both were just kind of like meh, whatever. But uh, then Dante started getting kind of talked about late last summer for Smash Bros. Um, there was some fake leak that popped up and it had Dante in it and. You know how it is. Somebody brings up a character nobody's talking about, and all of a sudden everyone's jumping on the bandwagon for that character. And Dante happened to be in one of those leaks, and then Dante started getting talked about so much. And I seen a lot of 50-50. It was either, yeah, Dante would be awesome. Nah, keep that. Keep the character away from Smash Bros. We don't need that. And um, to me, uh, he's not really a character that I'd personally like to see. Plus, if... I got to bring this up, right? If you didn't know, uh, PlayStation has their own sort of version of Super Smash Brothers with PlayStation All-Stars. And here it is. Dante was in PlayStation All-Stars, right? Now, if there's any character, not saying that this would ever happen, you know, or be taken into consideration, but if there was a character to ever, you know, be in PlayStation All-Stars and Smash Bros, I I think there would be other characters that would be more deserving, honestly, in my opinion. And they don't have to be necessarily, you know, third-party characters. They could be, you know, I could even say a PlayStation character like Kratos or maybe Sackboy or, you know, something like that or uh, Ratchet and Clank, Jack and Dexter, something like that. You know, I think that would be maybe a little bit more deserving than Dante, but that's, my opinion, an entirely different topic. But... So, um, Dante has crossed over into, like, a fighting game like this before, so it's not out of the realm of possibility at all to see him potentially be in Super Smash Bros. I could see this happening, uh, and personally, I, I would not, I'm, I'm not a fan of him. I'm just not. I can't, I can't see myself, I didn't like him in PlayStation All-Stars. I played the game, I still have the game, actually. I still play it from time to time. But I didn't really enjoy playing as him. I didn't like him. I, I just, I don't know. I don't like, I just didn't enjoy the character. I'll just put it that way. So for me, Dante is really kind of like a no thank you, uh, who, who's next kind of thing. So yeah, but uh, let's move on to Sora. And this, I'm already telling you, I'm voting Sora. Mainly because Sora is that, you know, that fantasy, that the, the, the pipe dream sort of character. Uh, the one that you never thought could happen sort of character. Kind of like Cloud was for uh, Smash Bros. in Wii U 3DS. He's always fantasized, you know, hey, Cloud would be so awesome to see happen in Smash Bros. No, nah, that'll never happen. And guess what? Cloud happened, and pretty much that opened the door for anything. And then when, um, I was about to say Sakurai, but no. When Reggie said at the Game Awards, you know, pretty much, you know, DLC is going to be all new characters that are new to the series of Smash Bros., uh, that pretty much even opened up almost any door that was still left unopened. And Sora definitely never been to Smash Bros. before. Definitely a great possibility. Extremely well known. Would sell DLC. I, 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 you could say the same for Dante as well. I, he'd definitely sell. I'm not going to take that away from him. He's a big, big, ta- bleh, big time character. People know the name. So, yeah. Um, but Sora, you know, Kingdom Hearts is what? Coming up. Is that like in a week or something? Isn't it January 19th? Um, I don't remember the date off the top of my head, but Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming up very soon. I'm almost positive. Uh, What better way to, you know, give it, you know, a little bit more. Not that Kingdom Hearts really needs it, but why not, you know, you could use a little bit more advertising. And the way that Nintendo's going about it this time around, they're trying to reach out for different sorts of audiences all over the place, you know, different sort of gaming groups, you know, to pull in like different characters and that, you know, and then just like fan bases that are attached to that character and bring those fan bases over to Smash to buy their game and their DLC. Sora would do that. I I don't think you can argue that. Sora would absolutely do that. No doubt about it. And uh, Sora is one of the biggest, you know, gaming names out there right now. So many people are attached to him. The the games are phenomenal. Just there's there's so much awesome stuff going for Sora. I mean, I could say the same thing about Dante, but I think my I'll be I'm, I'm gonna be honest. My bias towards him, I'm just I'm just not a fan of Dante. I'm not so. Uh, either way, I'm, I'm already telling you, I think I already told you, I'm voting Sora, hands down. 
no questions. Um, I, if, if Nintendo came to me, they would never do this. But if they came to me and said, all right, yo, Slackers, you get to pick the next DLC character, but it's between Sora or Dante, who would you choose? Easy. I'm picking Sora. That That's how this works. That's who I'd rather see. That's who I'd rather play as. That's who I think I'd enjoy being in the roster more than the other. So my vote is Sora. Pretty easy for this one. But uh, yeah, I guess that is pretty much going to be it for this one. Let's give you a sneak peek for tomorrow's little um, episode. Uh, so the matchup, it's actually going to be a funny one. Somehow the two of the Mortal Kombat uh, contestants got matched up against each other. Pretty uh, hilarious, uh, I think at least. But Scorpion will be taking on Raiden in the first round. So that should be interesting. Either way, Mortal Kombat is going to be moving on to the next round. And then we'll be getting the results. <laughs> well, we'll get the results of Fortnite default Jonesy taking on Steve from Minecraft, so that should be an interesting one as well. But um, I guess with that being said, there's not much more to say other than uh, I guess hopefully you guys enjoyed as usual, and uh, hopefully we catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, everybody.